Thanks, Paul. We're out of time, folks. I want to thank my guests tonight, Barbara Carrera, Eiffel Plaster, and Robert Klein. Have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday with Bob and Ray and Civil Show. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Come back anytime. Good night. Thanks, Bob. Hey, Dave, can we deal you in here? Uh, no, thanks anyway. I'm really, really exhausted. Jane Pauley, report to makeup. Jane Pauley to makeup. Larry, how you doing? Fine, David. Now, you're shaving before you go to bed. Sure, if I don't, I'm really bad looking when I get up. John Chancellor, report to the loading dock. John Chancellor to the loading dock. Paul, I got some uh, food here out of the commissary for Skippy. Oh, great, Dave. Skippy will appreciate that. Here, it's... why don't you feed him? Yeah. It's dry toast. Mmm. Oh, well, he's getting big. Yeah, mm, he loves it. He loves yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Take care of him. You know, I, I can't, uh, still can't get over Frank Field's bunk being empty. Oh, you got another letter from your wife, Bill? Yeah. Hey, look. She sent me a picture of my kid. Oh, boy, he's really getting big. How old is he now? 28. Willard Scott. Wow, that's Time terrific. Pick up Brian Gumble. Willard Scott. Pick up Brian Gumble. Lights Gumbel. out, everybody. Let's wrap it up. That means you, Melvin. Uh, Lights out. Uh. Dave? Yeah, Paul. I was just wondering. Do you think Dick Clark and Ed McMahon, hosts of NBC's TV's bloopers and practical jokes, live like this? <laughs> oh, no, Paul. They live in big mansions and eat off plates of solid silver and gold. Man, wouldn't it be great to live like that? Oh, I don't think so, Paul. I don't think I could handle all that pressure. How's that, Dave? Oh, you know, every week they have to come up with a brand new batch of bloopers. Yeah, I never... I never thought about that. I guess, I guess you're right, Dave. I, I guess you're right. Try to get some sleep, Paul. Yeah. <laughs>